Today, I'll be going over how I managed to get to orbit with a single press of a spacebar. And when I mean a single key press, I mean no other keys are pressed during the time to get to this orbit. Now, the first thing to know is that this is not the first time someone's done this. The actual first time someone's done this is when astronaut 825 first shattered the world record for the lightest rocket to get to orbit, which comes in at 5.34 tons, which is 0.34 tons more than the mass of this fuel tank. His method used the gravitational pull of the moon to get to orbit. However, I use a horizontal engine on the rocket to tilt the craft to the required degrees to reach orbit. Now what I also have are engines facing into heat shields to burn the heat shields away to separate the side boosters from the main rocket. I have a video here and a link in the pinned comments if you want more details on how I did it. Actually, in a few seconds we'll witness this happen where the side boosters will run out of fuel at the same time the heat shields burn away. As a side effect, this also causes the horizontal engine to rotate the rocket even further and the sideways engine will run out of fuel, which will determine the final rotation of the rocket during this journey. Now what's left of this mission is for the rocket to correct its trajectory as seen in this map view and the fuel tank should run out of fuel as it reaches its appropriate orbit. A cool thing to note about this map view is that because the rockets follow the same trajectory, the path from the rocket on screen now and the path from the map view are going to be the exact same. So I could just record two different missions and play the two recordings side by side and they'll overlap perfectly. And now we wait for the rocket to get a near perfect orbit. And now just about after an effortless two minutes, Rocket has achieved a near perfect orbit around the Earth. Thank you for watching and check out these videos for more content.